Alright, so I can talk to her former roommate. Actually, let's do that right now. She's not home. I left my card and told her to text me when she's home. Alright. Um, what can I do? Let's go visit Kelsey's apartment. The landlord said her parents are paying the rent through the end of Kelsey's lease. Looks like they came by to pick up at some point. Kind of weird that they'd leave the place looking so... lived in, yet abandoned. Yeah, I guess they're preserving it, hoping that she'll come back. Alright, let me save the game, and I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'm just looking at these posters. This one's for DJ Abhorrence. That's, that was one of the victims. And Into the Woods, the musical. Maybe... Maybe she wanted to, like, she auditioned for a part in this musical. And someone got it over her, so she killed the person who got it. The one who was killed on stage, maybe? I don't remember her name. Actually, let's look at that. Um, use? Yeah, here we go. Which one was killed on stage? I think it was the lap. Wait, was it this one? Yeah. Was killed on stage of the World Players Theater. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking envy and jealousy is probably the motivation for these killings. I don't know how the DJ fits in, though. This setup must have put her back. This is seriously high-end stuff. There's no disc to play. DJ Abhorrence spinning on Fridays at Jaunty Abyss. Into the <clears throat> Woods, Spring 2010. Kelsey played Rapunzel. An evening of opera, March 2011. Her name's here, along with Colleen's. May as well label this wall evidence A through C. No kidding. This is pretty damn clear evidence. Got a nice little keyboard here. Fancy keyboard. Do all music students blow their money on these things? I don't know. It doesn't look that fancy. Let's see what she was working on. Dear Kelsey, we miss you so much, sweetheart. We just want to know you're safe. We wanted you to have a place to come back to from wherever it is you've gone. Please call us as soon as you can if you find this. Love always. Mom and Dad. Talk about depressing. Yeah. Yeah, so they were preserving her apartment, hoping she would come back. It's got that roll right out of bed and into a cereal bowl kind of charm. Hmm. I hope there isn't a head in this box. Screw it, I'm opening this thing. Puzzle box. A box within a box. Boxception. Anything else in there? Who the hell put that here? Yeah, I don't think it was left by the parents. Who would send a puzzle box here and address it to Sully? Oh, it was addressed to Sully? Um. Okay, well, obviously that was left by the killer. Damn it, I hate these things. There's always some trick. What is it? I don't know. Can you let me look at it? Damn it, I... Well, I can use an item on it. Can you use a lockpick? That won't work there. 
Nope. I don't know what I'm supposed to use to open it, but I'm guessing when I find it, I'll probably know. It'll probably be pretty obvious. Secondhand twin bed, secondhand chair, secondhand everything. This place is the most depressing dorm room knockoff I've ever seen. Well, I really... I'm not too surprised that you would buy secondhand furniture. Have you seen the price of new furniture? It's so fucking expensive. It's... It... <laughs> You'd have to be practically rich if you wanted to... Like, if you if you went into a home and you had no furniture and you had to buy everything, like a couch, a bed, a bunch of chairs, tables, it would cost so much to buy new furniture. It's ridiculous. It's so much cheaper to buy secondhand stuff. It's not even funny. So, yeah. It's good that it's secondhand. Anything I buy is certainly going to be secondhand. It's a basement apartment. Or garden level, in realtor speak. <laughs> garden level. Makes it sound fancy. No cable box, but it does have a built in VCR. Wow. This oh girl was my old God. school. VCR. Haven't seen that in a long time. It's a dinosaur. What's a Aww. cute little guy like you doing in a place like this? Oh, that bulb up there is broken. Huh. One thing you shouldn't buy is secondhand light bulbs. Oh, what is this? Mail. Just an old empty envelope. It probably had some business mail in it. Pick up anything that isn't nailed down, right? Exactly. This is an adventure game, after all. Empty envelope. Hmm. An empty envelope from Kelsey's place. Is it actually empty? Well, I mean, obviously it's empty, but I mean... Maybe there's fingerprints on it or something? But I don't have any tools to do anything with that right now. And I can't combine it with anything. Alright, let's check out the bathroom if I'm done here. Let's see. Oh, vent. I did not see the vent. A place Perfect like place to hide this stuff. has central air. Didn't see that coming. Hmm. This vent is missing a screw. Better take a look what's in there. Oh, no good. I can't open it with my bare hands. Oh, well, I know exactly what to do. Shoot it. I don't want to damage the contents. Okay, that may have been a bad idea. Let's... Mm, use a lockpick? That won't work there. Well, I'm assuming I need a screwdriver, right? This is not... I don't think I have anything that could really work. No. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, anything else? Dinosaur bed, TV, window, bathroom, package, puzzle box, chair, keyboard, notes, posters. No, that's it. Let's go check out the bathroom. Her bathroom is pretty tiny, just like the rest of the place. And that's it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need a tool so I can come back here and use the vent. I'm guessing there's a CD in it that I can probably play in the stereo. Ugh, no good. I can't open it with my bare hands. Alright, let's try and find a tool. Maybe I'll go to the morgue and speak to Terrence, see if he has any fancy gadgets for me. AFK. That's gotta be Terrence. Terrence had to have left that. AFK. Terrence must be working the crime scene at the Old South Meeting Hall. Hmm. 
It looks empty without the big guy around. Well, I don't think there's any point in going down to the morgue. Something about a bright red fire alarm always makes it look so tempting. I know, I just want to press it. Can I actually press it? Let's not do that. Let's go spend some time with the dead bodies. It's one of the perks of this job. Agent Reed, how can I help you? I wanted to say goodbye to Davies. Everything happened so fast, I didn't have a chance before. You know my rules, Agent Reed. No contamination and no private visits before I've finished my work. Right. The autopsy report must be happening soon. I have paperwork to take care of, please. Show yourself out. Sorry to interrupt. Dr. Gallagher, still a complete asshole. Surprise. I could set off the fire alarm and ruin her day. <laughs> Should I do that? Nah. Well, uh, I... You know, fuck it. I just saved it. Let's do it. Is she actually gonna do this it? This ought to give me some privacy. Oh my god. Now I need to get out of sight. Hide behind the counter. As if I'm not busy enough already. Should have expected it. Oh my god, that noise is going to drive me crazy. Oh. Better move fast. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but what the hell? It's so loud. Uh. Oh, thank God. I think my ears are ringing now. Uh, no. Okay, why am I even here? Is it just to say- That must be Davies. Oh, wait, can I do cognition? I bet I can do cognition. Sorry, I was such a pain in the ass sometimes, Davies. You were good. One of the best. I wanted to hate you for closing that case, but you were right to do it. And if I hadn't have been so tired because I was still working on it, I might have gotten there in time to save you. But I'm not going to stop until whoever did this is behind bars. I promise. Yep. If I'd just gotten there sooner. I'm sure she won't mind if I borrow this without asking. Oh yeah, because Dr. Gallagher is such a lovely person. She's so relaxed about her property. Wait, how do I, how do I listen to it? There's a blank tape in it. Oh, it's blank? Is there anything else I can do there? Gallagher did the autopsy already. Wait a minute. That tattoo. That was on one of the other victims. Was that actually a tattoo or was that a brand? Because it looks like a brand to me. That's the same tattoo that was on the hangman. This has to mean something. 
It really looks like a brand to me. Does a killer actually have time to add a tattoo? I don't think so. Let's take a picture of that. I recognize this now. It's the Greek letter Psi. I should compare this to the picture of the other tattoo and try to figure out what it means. There. That'll help me do a search on it later. Psi is the 23rd letter of the Greek alphabet. It is often used as a prefix signifying subjects that relate to the brain or soul. For example, psychology. It is also used in words relating supposedly supernatural phenomena, as in the word psychic, or the word scion. So these murders seem somehow related to me, or at least my abilities. Hmm. Her neck broke, rather than her strangling to death. Small mercy. At least with her eyes closed, she looks more peaceful. Um... Agent Reed? What are you doing in here? There was a fire alarm. Was there? I, I didn't hear anything. I was in the bathroom. The whole time? Yeah. Hey, uh -huh. I don't ask what you do in there. Damn it, Reed, you are wasting time. Mine, yours, and might I remind you, Agent Sullivan's. Get your ass back on the job while you still have one. I am doing my job. If you don't like it, fire me. Don't tempt me. If I find you stepping out of line one more time, you're looking at a suspension. If you're lucky, get out there and find Agent Sullivan. Fine. Whatever, Mr. Silver. I can't take you seriously in that stupid suit. Okay, where to now? Um, I haven't received a text, right? So I still can't go to Melissa's apartment? She's not home. Nope. Uh, what if I pay Rose a visit? Erica, good morning. Not much good about it. Oh, indeed. Dear, you look a mess. What happened? Come tell me about it. And now I'm trying to find Sully before something worse happens. That's quite a terrible thing. I'm so sorry for your loss, my dear. And if I can help you find your young man, don't you hesitate to say. Thanks, Rose. I'm not planning to turn down any help on this one. A Ouija board? Am I actually going to get to use one? Looks like Rose put out a stack of Ouija boards. While I can now admit there are some supernatural things in the world, I still refuse to believe that Parker Brothers has harnessed the <laughs> spirits of the dead and packaged them in a game board for mass production. No kidding. Alright, well I've already looked at all of this stuff in the last episode. That desk looks almost too normal for the rest of this shop. Hey, Rose. Hello, my dear. So what is it that I need to do to use that projection? Focus on three things Okay, this is like room. tutorial thing again. Alright, so that, don't need that, don't need that. There's something I need help with. I was trying to get information from an object, but it's not clear. It's like I'm seeing static. Any ideas? Some items are rarely by themselves. There is a way to make it more clear. What were you looking at? This paper has a phone number on it, but it's the wrong one. I was hoping to get the right number by using my power on it, but I'm not getting anything helpful. Remember how you needed more than one item to see that memory of Jean? It's like that. If you can find another item that was there at the same time, 
an item that shares that moment of history with this one? You may get what you need by combining them, reading them both at the same time. Finding their synergy? <laughs> yes, yes, you could say that. Find another item to work with that wrong number and bring them back here. Then we can try. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, so I'm thinking I should just go grab the pen that Cordelia used to write the number, which is probably at Gwen's desk. I'm assuming she wrote it right then and there, yeah. And I just realized something that I'm almost certain is what I need to do to progress, and that's that I once again forgot to use my cognition powers at the apartment of the killer. I totally forgot to use my cognition powers, and I guarantee you there's probably more than one thing to use them on in her apartment. So are you and John... you know? Oh, no, no, my dear. John is a good man, but not the man for me, nor am I the woman for him. <gasps> no, I am a woman of certain faiths, and John, oh, as I said, he's a good man, but not a man of faith. He believed me when I told him what I could do. And that sounds even crazier than a lot of religious stuff. Of course he did, my dear. I did not mean that he does not have faith. And in you, he has no doubts at all. You said you've met people like me before. How many others? More than you might think. I have spent many years looking for other scions, and that search has taken me to many places. Oh, I'd be interested to hear more about that, but I don't have time for a life story right now. Another time, then. I've been having an easier time with my powers. Well, except for what happened at the Old South Meeting House. What happened there? I'm not sure. I was running at the killer, and suddenly I started getting flashes seen and hearing things without trying to. I couldn't control it or focus, and that's when the killer took the shot and killed Davies. That's awful. But whose memory is it? That's the thing. I don't know. It feels like it's mine, but it's not a memory. It's like it hasn't happened yet. Odd indeed. But sometimes these powers we have expand without warning. I could try to help you focus on it to learn more. Maybe another time. I can't right now. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. Alright, two things to do. Go back to the apartment and use my cognition powers, and also go back to Gwen's desk and try to find a pen or something like that. Um, Let's go to Kelsey's apartment. I don't know why I keep forgetting about my cognition powers. I mean, it's the name of the freaking game. Cognition. There we go. Surprise. I can't see anything. Damn it. Never mind. Is that the only thing? This is not going to work with this. I guess we'll go to the station and do the whole Cordelia's phone number thing. Huh. And I think I just need a freaking screwdriver to be able to open that uh, air vent. Shouldn't be that hard to find a screwdriver. Let's take a look at her desk. Hello. This is the one. Lucky for me, she wasn't using the same kind everyone else does. Hmm. She might have been on the phone when she took down the number. Hmm, true. I'm not taking that with me. I gotta find something else that would work. Folders she was probably filing. 
Nothing to do with what I'm looking for. Alright, I think this pen should be good enough. And I think I need to take them back to Rose. Or can I combine them right here? Tess's pen. I can't believe anyone over the age of 15 actually uses this thing. No kidding, it's like a cotton candy pen. Alright, let's go back to Rose. that secretary took down the wrong number with. Good. Hold them both together and use your powers on them at the same time. It should give you a clearer image, show you the memory that these things share. All right, you've now acquired the power of Synergy. Synergy can be used on items in your inventory. Press the Cognition Sphere. Open your inventory and use the Synergy on items that show in color. All right, simple enough. Select two or more items to make a memory stronger. Selecting non-matching items will create static. When you have matching ones, the view image will begin to glow. Alright, simple enough. So that. Right, if I selected the wrong one, it'd be all staticky, right? Yep. Go with that. Nice and clear, and boom. 617-555. One, three, four, two. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll give this to Agent Reed when she gets back. It's working. I've got the number. And they say synergy's just a buzzword. Do you think if I combine even more items, I can make a memory clearer? See more of it? I should think so. If you had a number of items that had been in the same place at the same time, that'll come in handy. You don't say. Like, the charms, for example? Ooh. Alright, well, let's give Cordelia a call. Cordelia's actual phone number. Hey, Cemetery BFF, how you doing? Seen any good graves lately? Hello? Hi, Cordelia. This is Erica Reed. Erica, hello! I'm so glad to hear from you. Sorry it took a while. I'm glad you came by, though. I wanted to talk to you about something. I was just on my way to visit my brother, in fact. We could meet there in half an hour? Sounds good. See you soon. Let's take a trip to the cemetery. Hello, Erica. Hi, Cordelia. Cordelia, this is hard for me to say. I don't even know where to start. Try me. I remembered something from the night that my brother died. I knew I had seen you before, but I, I couldn't place it. Three years ago, you were here the night he was murdered in this cemetery. I know. That's why I tried to find you at the FBI office. I remembered seeing you here that night, too. When I realized who you were, it was horrible. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I hope it wasn't a problem my coming by the office. I just didn't know how else to contact you. It's fine. It's just been a busy few days. I can give you my cell phone number if you ever need to contact me again. Thank you. Wow. 
What were you doing here? I was visiting Max's grave. And how did you get close to the crime scene? I was sitting here, and I heard a gunshot. I didn't know what it was, so I called 911. Minutes later, I saw the commotion, the police cars, and I got closer. A police officer asked me to leave, but before I did, I saw you. It was you. You said you took over the business from your brother. What do you do? He owned and managed some properties in the city, so now it's what I do. I'm not nearly as visionary as Max was, though. Hmm, sounds like good work. Not quite as interesting as being an FBI agent. <laughs> interesting, yes. Good for your blood pressure or psyche, that's up for debate. That sounds like you've had a bad day. You could say that. Do you want to talk about it? A friend of mine was taken by someone this morning. I don't know where he is, but I know he's hurt badly and I... I have to find him. That's awful. But you sound determined. I'm sure you'll find him. Just finding him isn't good enough. I found Scott, I found Davies, and I was too late to save either of them. I know what it's like to lose someone close to you, Erica. You care about this friend of yours a lot, don't you? <sighs> I do. More than I've let him know. But there are things I haven't told him about myself. I wish things were... Simple? Exactly. Something normal. Something that isn't messed up. <sighs> but I'm starting to think there is no not messed up in my life. You sound a lot like me sometimes. What was your brother like? Max... He was the real star in the family. Brilliant. Everyone loved him, and he was always kind to me. We lost our parents when I was still young, but... He always looked out for me, and made me part of the business. I wasn't really qualified at the time, but... I tried to be for him. It sounds like you were really close. We were. I miss him so much, even now. I know he's gone, but there's still this hole where he used to be. Well, same with me and Scotty. I'll hear a joke I know he'd love, or see a movie that's right up his alley, and, and sometimes I forget for a minute that I can't tell him about it. Those are some of the best minutes, though. I talked to Rose. You were right. She's been a big help. She's a good woman. I'm glad it worked out. What kind of pain did she help you with? Oh, it was... She helped me deal with Max's death. We'd just moved into a new place before it happened, and I... I wasn't dealing very well with it. I felt like I had no one else to turn to. No one else who understood what I was going through. Oh. Well, glad she could help you. I was lucky I had people like John and my dad after Scotty died. I can't imagine going through it alone. You didn't need to come to the office to tell me you remembered me. Why were you really there? I wasn't sure I wanted to say it. I feel kind of dumb. It's just... Recently, I felt unsafe at my apartment. I started noticing a man hanging around. I don't like how he looks at me. After I realized who you were, I remembered something. That night you were here, I think I saw him here too. What? Cordelia, what do you mean? I can't be positive. He looks different. There are scars on this guy's face, but I swear I remember those eyes. It might be him, but more importantly, I'm afraid. If that man is really... I, I can't check it out myself right now, but I can get a car over there at least. Someone to keep an eye on things until I can get there myself. You do that? Thank you so much, Erica. I live at the Enthon Towers by the Charles River. You did the right thing. I'll get over there myself soon, I promise. I need to get back to my case. I'll let you know when I've got a car at the Towers. Thank you so much, Erica. If there's anything I can do, even if you just need to talk again, you've got my number. I might take you up on that.
I like not feeling quite so... weird. So, there's a man with a burned face that she keeps seeing hanging around. Well, that's obviously the cane killer, the one that I burned. That's not good. It sounds like he's stalking out his next victim. But doesn't he always kill in pairs? Like a brother, sister, or siblings? But she doesn't have a brother. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was also going to do this. Ah. Ah. And I need more. Damn it. Whoops, wait. Hmm. I can combine the envelope. Nope. Bad. Bad reception. Wrong channel. Is that enough? I think I needed to be fully clear before I can get anything. The memory isn't strong enough yet. Yeah, I thought so. What is this getting me? Is that... Is that some sort of a safe? Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything else that would go with that, though. need more charms. Where would I find more charms? I have all the ones they have in evidence, right? Yeah, it was just the one. Hmm. I'm actually not sure where to go now. Okay, so there's, there's an air vent at Kelsey's apartment. But I can't seem to open it. I think I need a screwdriver or something like that. There's a lockbox, which I can't open until I have all of the charm pieces, so I can get a strong memory on that. Or the, the, the puzzle box. Beyond that, I don't know. She's not home. No. Um. Let's go back to HQ. Check tips real quick. Um, oh yeah, I need to send a police cruiser. Mm, would I just talk to my boss for that? Can I call him? No, thank you. I guess not. Actually, wait, can I call Terrence? I don't need to call there right now. Nope. I like how Rose's image in the contacts looks absolutely nothing like her. You know, Samuel McAdams, I find it very strange that you're never actually sitting down at your desk. Do you actually do any work, or do you just stand up, staring at the wall, all day? McAdams? Agent Reed? I need a BPD car sent over to the Anthon Towers. Why? A friend of mine. She thinks someone may be stalking her. Then she should call the police and file the complaint with them. Focus on your case! I shouldn't need to stress that Agent Sullivan's life depends on it. And you're still being a massive dick. Surprise. Does this just, does this just do the same dialogue again? About that interagency request. The answer is still no, Agent. Stop wasting time and get back to work. Damn it. If I tell him what it's really for, he'll never sign anything. Hmm. I'll get back to it. See that you do. Okay, what can I do? 
Oh, uh, what could I do? Let me go talk to John. Let's see if he has any ideas. McCoy? Red? Apparently not. I'm going to go back. Go get. Hmm. Hmm. What if I use my phone? I don't have any business with other government. Nope. Okay, I'm stumped. Dad, I need help. Help me, Dad. Check with your secretary for what to do and watch out. Some of them might be flaming... What? Some of them might be flaming hoops? What? Dad, are you having a stroke? I feel like there's a sentence missing from that statement. Check with your secretary for what to do and watch out. Some of them might be flaming hoops. Some of what I have to do might be flaming hoops? What? I, I think what it meant to say was check with your secretary to find out what hoops you have to jump through and watch out. Some of them might be flaming or something like that. The way it was stated was just weird. Oh, what the hell is this? I wonder what that stack of paper is for. Um, I don't think that was there before. Hey, Gwen. Any news? Not really. Sorry. I need an interagency request form. Here you go. It looks like you're buried in paperwork. I'm so busy, I haven't been able to get these forms to make Adams to get them signed. He's gonna be so mad at me. Thanks, Gwen. Let me bring the stack in for you, at least. Would you? Oh, thank you, Erica. You are a savior. No problem, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Alright, what have we got here? A blank interagency form. I'll need McAdams to sign it to get a police car over to the Anthon Towers. I'll just add this one on top. Hmm. Well, I'm assuming Erica's already filled it out. So I'm guessing I'm just going to give him the stack and tell him he needs to sign everything. And he'll just probably sign it without looking. She did sign it, didn't she? She she filled it out? I mean, I can't seem to use this fluffy candy cane pen on it, so I'm assuming she's already filled it. Here, these are from Gwen for you to sign. And why are you bringing me these? Because Tess quit. The evidence room was robbed, and she's going gray trying to keep everything together out there on her own. She has her job, you have yours. But fine, give her this one, she can get the rest later. And he gives me the only one that I need. Well, that's convenient, but I won't complain. All right, go back to staring at the wall, Mr. Silver. It's funny, he keeps growling at me to do my job. And in reality, the only thing he's doing in there is staring at the wall. What the fuck's wrong with that guy? All right, who do I give this to? Do I give it to Gwen? I think I do. Here 
Here are some of those forms, Gwen. I think he said to bother him frequently about getting the rest of them done. Oh, I'm sure he did. <laughs> Thanks, hon. And could you fax this to Officer Jonathan Duffer at the BPD for me? All right. Thanks, Gwen. All right, that's one thing down. Hello, Erica. Hi, Cordelia. It's all sorted out. There'll be a police car outside the building soon. I'll get there when I can, but in the meantime, if you see that guy, let them know, okay? Thank you so much, Erica. I feel safer already knowing you're looking out for me. I'm glad I could help. I'll call you later. It's from Melissa, Kelsey's old roommate. She's back at her apartment. Sweet. All right, let's go. Hello, Miss Carubia? Who is it? Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. Yes, of course. The Dean's office called about you. Namaste, Miss Reed. It's Agent Reed, actually. Of course. My apologies. Please, have a seat. I have a feeling I'm going to hate this person. In fact, I already kind of hate her. Jeez, at least set your freaking alarm clock correctly. Come on. How long has that thing been blinking 12 o'clock? And why is it pointing towards the front? Why is it pointing towards the back of the desk instead of where you'd actually look at it from? I guess that's just so I can actually see it. But still, it's strange. God, this place is just packed full of shit. <laughs> For a drum circle, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> a flute? No, wait, that's a recorder. They taught us how to play three blind mice on those in third grade. What exactly is she going to music school for again? All I can see is that bright purple chair. Where do you even find one like that? Yeah, this is the type of decor that when you see it, you think... Who the hell would ever buy that? You know, you kind of think like the store might be crazy for having ever stocked that because you think no one would buy it. But little do you know, some people, like this person, actually do buy those things. Really, a wet towel just right on the ground? Onto wood? A wood floor? Water plus wood floor equals bad. Sure, yeah, the floor's a great place for a wet towel. That's a weird way to arrange dresser drawers. <sighs> yeah, I didn't even notice that. It looks like a puzzle. The ceiling lamp is kind of pretty. Wait a second. Did she make that out of a hookah? <laughs> These are all for local bands and clubs. Wait a minute. That's the DJ poster. Jaunty Abyss features DJ Abhorrence. That was the DJ name used by Nick Stewart, one of the other victims. Maybe she's the killer. Hey, this bureau is actually pretty nice. Under all that clutter. How'd that happen? Man, this place is cluttered. These things are all packed with books, trinkets, jewelry boxes, papers, folders. Who knows what else? Artistic endeavor or just decoration? No one will ever know. Empty water glass. Does this girl pick up anything? Actually, I think that's the problem. She picks up everything and buys it and puts it on her shelves.
The second-hand coffee table, a college standby. Mine was never covered in tarot cards, though. Maybe she'll read my future. Except I already know my future. According to the visions I've seen, I get shot in the head. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> this girl is the hippiest hipster I've ever seen. Alright, let's get this over with. Hopefully I don't choke on the incense fumes. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course! And I think we're going to be doing tarot cards. Ugh, she couldn't be bothered to throw it out when she was done? Of course not, that's far too much effort. All organic apples, no doubt. Only five dollars for every apple. Even though they're exactly the same as the non-organic ones. Can you tell me about yourself, Miss Carubia? Melissa's just fine. I'm a senior at Berkeley, studying composition and music therapy. Music therapy? They teach that here? Oh yes! It's a wonderful program. Music can be a powerful healer and helper for all kinds of people. If you say so. Well, then... Uh, I'm guessing whatever course she's taking and what she intends to do with it is probably promising far more healing than in reality could ever do, but... Like, obviously music can't do physical healing, but... I could see it being useful for mental... Help? Maybe? Like, calming people? But chances are, whatever she thinks she's gonna do with the music is probably like, It cures 20 types of cancer and anything that... Everything that ails you. Stomach aches. AIDS. Music will solve it. But no, it actually... Uh, I'm sure it can be helpful for some... Mental things. You know, help you sleep, help you relax. Or just cheer you up. What can you tell me about your old roommate, Kelsey Gardner? Poor girl. She was so bright when we met, then it all fell apart on her. First she lost her scholarship, then her work study, then she got refused for a loan, then she dropped out. We lost touch after she moved out. Is she alright? Did you find her? Not yet. What was she like? She was nice, but she had a hard time deciding what to study. Very unfocused. She even tried to get a club DJ to teach her how to spin once. And the last time you talked? What did she say then? It wasn't good. Her aura was an angry mess. <laughs> angry about what? <laughs> oh, a lot of things. Was her aura angry about the uh, inflation and the rising gas prices? What do you know about her financial problems? Kelsey couldn't afford to pay tuition after she lost the scholarship and got fired from her work study. No loans, no favors, and her family couldn't help either. She was really mad at everyone. I was given her spot in the chamber choir and she was so mad. Was that the last time you talked to her? One of the last. The very last was when she moved out and couldn't pay her half of the rent that month. That must have been a strain for you. Yeah. Oh, no, I forgot her boyfriend paid it off for her a few weeks later. Boyfriend? I didn't know she had a boyfriend. Who was Kelsey's boyfriend? Joey. Joey. Last name? Um... <laughs> you know, I don't know. But he worked at the post office down the street. I was just there yesterday, actually. Wait a minute. That Joey? Joey. What does he look like? Oh, brown hair, blue eyes. He had a very nervous aura. Hmm. Sounds like the clerk I met. Weird. What else do you know about him? Not a lot. He didn't talk to me much. He was always focused on Kelsey. He loved her so much. I don't think she was quite as into him, though. Do you know if they were still together when she went missing? I don't know. So her boyfriend was Joey the half-dead, zombified postal service worker. Huh. In fact, maybe that's why he was he seemed so depressed and lifeless, because she had gone missing? 
Hmm. Gonna have to go have a chat with him. What was her work-study job, and why was she fired? Hmm, she worked at the dean's office. She said it was unfair that she was fired, but I, I don't know why it happened. The dean of students? Daniel Chapman's office? He didn't say she worked there. She did. All of sophomore year, maybe longer. When was she fired? A month into junior year, I think. So much for not knowing her. Hmm, the Dean's being coy with information. Gonna have to go have a chat with him. Maybe brandish my gun at him? Just to convince him. You know, just to make the information flow a little bit better. Have you had any contact from Kelsey at all since she disappeared? Like, from beyond? Beyond what? Beyond, you know, spirits. Of course. Yes, I think Kelsey might have tried to contact me. Through the spirits? Ha, <laughs> no. There was a package outside my door this morning. It had a charm in it, just like mm. this bracelet she used to wear. A silver charm? Where is it now? It's, um... Fudge. I know I put it somewhere around here, Fudge. but I forget where. I'll have to focus and seek guidance from the spirits. But it works better when I'm alone. You do that. Did she seriously just say fudge? Who says that? You said she was trying to learn how to DJ? Who was teaching her? DJ Ab Horitz. I've heard that name before. Was his real name Nick Stewart? DJ Abhorrence isn't. Was he close with Kelsey? She knew him better than I did, but the lessons didn't last that long. A silver charm? Where is it now? It's, um, fudge. I know I put it somewhere around. I'll have to focus and see. You do. All right, just the same dialogue there. Uh, can I help her remember where it is, or do I have to actually just leave her? Thanks for your time, Melissa. Namaste, Miss Reed. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, that's regression, so I, I need... You need two more for that, right? I need to get closer. Wait. Closer? Like... Dialogue? Can I do progression in dialogue? No, I think you just need two more Can items. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course! Oh, never mind. Please, don't touch me while I'm seeking guidance. Sorry. I need to find a way she'll let me touch her. Awkward. Um, how could I be able to touch her? Oh, I know. Seduce her. I don't think it's going to let me do that. Mm. Um. Empty water glass. Those look well used. She must be pretty into the spiritual occult stuff. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if she knew Rose, actually. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't surprise me either. Let's see, what can I do? Oh, I know, I could shoot her. That won't work there. Damn it. There's always a point in an adventure game when you have so many different things that you could do. And you just don't know what the hell you're supposed to do. Like, am I supposed to leave? Do I need something? I don't know. Um. Well, I have an empty tape recorder. Maybe she can give me a spiritual reading or something. Those two don't work together. Nope. I, I don't know. That won't...
Well, she said she was going to seek spiritual guidance. I think maybe I just need to leave her. Thanks for your time, Melissa. Namaste, Miss Reed. I think that might be the game's hint. Uh, the game's way of, you know, hinting that you can't progress here until something else happens. That's my guess. Oh yeah, I can go down to the post office. I totally forgot about that. Hey Joey, you still loving your job at the United States Postal Service office? That's what Joey was yesterday. Oh, wait. I don't suppose Joey's gone missing? Or he quit his job weeks ago? Hmm? Hmm? Can I talk to you? That's what they pay me for. <laughs> How can I help you? I'm looking for a man who works here named Joey. <laughs> Joey Gothals. I think so. You and me both, lady. He ditched a shift today. Didn't even call in. I get called in instead. Mm -hmm. Have you called him? Has anyone been by his house? <laughs> they called, sure. No answer, or he'd be here. And I doubt anyone went to his house. <laughs> Why? I need his address. Uh, I can't just give you that. Did you know Joey's girlfriend, Kelsey? Sorry, ma'am, I, I don't know him that well. We just work together. Alright, I've got to get his address. Which I should be able to do just at the station, just search for his name. That's all for now. Okay. Bye. It's weird that I can't see behind his glasses. It's like they're two-way mirrors. That wall's got all the post office boxes. Hmm. I remember before thinking that I might be able to do something with them, but the use an item icon never showed up. But now it is, which means at some point I'm going to get, a, get to use an item on those post office boxes. It's gonna happen. All right, back to Boston HQ and let's find his address. Are you serious? I think I just need to show the post office guy my badge, but what? Why can't I do this? This makes no sense at all. You just need someone's name and you get their driver's license and all their info and their address and etc. Why can't I do that? Anyway, back to the post office. for hitting basic things though. I don't know why. Like, you know, if you want to have some authority, show your badge, use your cognition ability. All right, let's see if this works. I'm an FBI agent, and I need to speak with Joey about a case. Give me his address, or get your boss. Crap. Uh, yeah, oh, oh, okay, um, uh, uh, here, he here it is. Is he in trouble? No, I just need to ask him some questions. I'm just gonna ask him some questions with my fist. They're very talkative fists. Where's his place? Is it Boston Overview? Hmm. 
Bingo. Well, I'm guessing he didn't pay too much money for this apartment. What a view! It's beautiful. It's the alley apartment. With the stinking heap of trash right below it. This looks more like some old boarded up warehouse than a home. What a weird place to live. Well, we've got a panel and some wires. I am going to be doing some rewiring, I think. This looks more like some old... Or maybe some fuse work? Mr. Gothals, this is Erica Reed, FBI. We met yesterday at the post office. I'd like to ask you some questions. Hmm, no answer. I can feel the electrical box puzzle coming on. Because it's, it is impossible to have an adventure game without an electrical box puzzle. You just, you have to have it in. It has to be in there. Without it, it's just not an adventure game. That kind of casing usually protects wires. These are going right into the door. The front is all boarded up windows I can't reach. At least there's a door here. With no just... handle. Great. <laughs> I was gonna say, I guess I could just lockpick it, but if there's no handle, then I guess I can't. I, yeah, I can't even use items on it. It looks like a fuse box. I've never seen one on the outside of a building before. Yeah, that's a bit strange. Oh, it's locked. Lockpick. I've got no reason to pick the lock on this fuse box. Yes, you do, so you can get inside. Are you serious? All right, shoot it then. That won't work there. I, I don't think there's anything I can do here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. What am I missing? I, <laughs> I need to touch Melissa. That doesn't sound right. Oh yeah, I need to go talk to the Dean. Let's go do that. Let's go have a talk with the lying, filthy Dean. Maybe... Maybe the Dean had a relationship, an inappropriate relationship with the student? And he doesn't want to be involved at all, because his family would find out? Hmm? Dean Chapman? Hello, Agent Reed. Dean Chapman. Hello, Agent Reed. All right, we've now introduced ourselves twice. Now, I'm not gonna accuse him just yet. Let's get some information first. He's already denied knowing her well, but if she worked here, it would probably be in his files. Hmm, true, true. How would he let me go through his file? Wait a minute. Is that what I need the forms for? Wait, but what? No, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Thanks for your time, Dean. Of course, Agent. Anytime. I mean, can I just go through them right now? Um... What? He doesn't mind that I'm going through his Is files? Is there something you need for my files, Agent? Yes. I'd like to see your personnel files on past work-study students. Specifically, Kelsey Gardner. What? Forget to mention something earlier, Dean Chapman? 
Like the fact that Kelsey was working in your office as one of your personal assistants for over a year? Care to explain yourself? Uh, you, you can't, you can't go through there without a warrant. Lying to a federal agent is not something we take lightly. You'd better explain yourself now, Dean Chapman, or I'm going to a judge for a warrant for your arrest. I, I didn't want to look like I was connected to her. And why is that? Were you having an affair with her? What happened with you and Kelsey, Dean Chapman? Maybe you were having an affair. Should I ask your wife about her? No, God, no, I would never. Look, she was mad when she lost her scholarship. She blamed me for losing it, and I pointed out that her grades, of course, did not support her keeping it. I, I even referred her to a lending institution to apply for a loan. And you never said this because... When she disappeared, I didn't want anyone to think I was involved. I wasn't. I haven't seen Kelsey since she dropped out, and that's the truth. Well, you should have been upfront about it then. So is that it? Well, I mean, he kind of already told me everything, right? Well, let's see what this does. You are connected, and now you look guilty as hell. Agent Reed, I had no further connection with her, and uh and you have no proof that I did. And furthermore, I am not permitting you access to any files without a warrant, Agent. Yeah, I did. I think that's the end of it. All right. Mm, what now? I'm kind of in dead water again. Missing something for opening puzzle box. I'm missing the other pieces of the uh, the charm. Or not the pieces of the charm, but the other charms, which I can get from Melissa. And I need to touch Melissa. <laughs> I need to touch Melissa to get the charms. So, how do I touch Melissa? Hey, Dad, tell me how to touch this woman. She's actually sending that. Hey, Dad, I need to touch this... <laughs> can you imagine actually sending that text to a parent? I need to touch this woman for my intuition to work. <laughs> <laughs> but I need a reason. Dad, can you give me a reason to touch this woman? <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> that just sounds amazing. She's got kind of a hippie bohemian thing going on. Um, let's go have a conversation with Rose, actually. Maybe she has some... Ooh! <gasps> the Ouija boards! Maybe the Ouija boards? Yeah, let's go to Rose's. Maybe I can give her a gift or something. <laughs> Dad, help me touch this woman. I need help. I mean, what are dads for if not guiding you on how to touch women? You know, I still have no idea why they're pronounced Ouija. I mean, look at those letters. O-U-I-J-A. Ouija. Ouija. Like, no part of how you pronounce it is actually in the letters, except the U and the I. Ouija? Shouldn't it be like... Oja? But no, for some reason it's Ouija. Why? Who the fuck knows? How much for one of these Ouija boards, Rose? Is this something to help save your young man? Hopefully. Then it's on the house, my dear. Besides, I have another pile in the bag. Maybe this hot, sweaty Ouija board will help me touch this woman. Uh... Downtown. Hello? Miss Karubia? Who is it? Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. Yes, of course! Namaste, Miss Reed. 
Mm -hmm. Please, have a seat. It's... <laughs> never mind. Would using this help you remember? Perfect! This way we can confer directly with the spirits. Spirit of the Ouija board! What the please fuck? Please help me remember what I was doing before the package arrived so I can remember where I put it this morning I was what was I doing? Oh my god. Please, let's get this over with. Now. Okay, uh, let's see. That's when she was doing yoga, so no. Mmm, there. What the hell was that? I don't even know what that was. Uh, I guess I should do them in order, right? Yeah, this one doesn't have the time on it. I don't know, I'll just click on all of them. And that was her eating an apple. How exciting. She does eight something. Alright, so this one I think is the... Yeah, this is the earliest. Exciting. And then this was the next one. I'm not sure how any of this is helping. Alright, and then it was this one. Do I, like, do I have to do them in order? I, I kind of forgot what I'm doing here. That's when she was eating the apple, yeah. Like, do I need to spot something on the screen or what? I kind of forgot how this works. And then the latest one is this. Yeah, I don't I don't get it. What am I what am I doing? that do anything? If I help her remember what order she did things in, maybe she'll remember where she put that charm. Oh, I have to actually tell her. Okay, um, shit. Uh, what was the order? Um, it was yoga? I think it was yoga, apple, water, mail. Yoga, apple, water, mail? This Ouija board is out of whack. That's nope. not right. Let me ask again. Oh god, no, 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 no. No, don't, don't do it again. Fuck. Oh. I can't skip it. I can't skip it. Make it stop. Please. Okay. Oh, let's do it again. Now that I know what I'm actually doing. Alright, 735, 750, yep, yep, yep. 8.15, so is this one earlier than 735? I don't think it is. I got my pen. I got my pen. Nope. 803. Okay, 803. So it was yoga. Apple. Wait. No, 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 no. That's not right. Yoga. And then water. And then apple, and then paper cut. Okay. If I help her remember. So yoga, water, apple, and then mail. Thank you, spirit. That's right. I got the mail, and then I put it in the red jewelry box. 
Where's that? On the dresser. I put things I find or that I'm borrowing here. How silly that I couldn't remember. In the red jewelry box. On the dresser. Hello? Ooh, is this, uh, the P.O. Box key? Or a P.O. Box key? K.G. Did this key belong to Kelsey? Oh, I forgot all about that. What a surprise. Yes, she gave that to me the last time I saw her. She said it was in case she ever lost hers. Did she tell you what box it was for? The number is scratched out. She did. It's, um... Drat, I don't remember. Oh, but we could ask the Ouija board. Please, no. I'll see if I can find out on my own. Yes, yes, please. Yoink, and yoink. Did the package say where this was mailed from? No. I think it was hand-delivered, no stamps or anything. Do you have the envelope? Sorry. I already recycled it. Why? Melissa, you're in danger. Charms like this have been found at a number of murder scenes, and Kelsey is the prime suspect. Kelsey? No. Oh, she would never... There were a lot of people she was very mad at, and you might be one of them. If there's somewhere else you can stay for a while, you should. Yes, um, I... Uh, I have some friends I can stay with. Good. If you see Kelsey or feel you're in immediate danger, call 911. I will. Thank you, Agent Reed. I hope you find her, and that none of this is her doing. I just... I can't imagine she would kill anyone. I'm praying to Cthulhu that I will never have to go back to her apartment. Please tell me that's the last time I have to see Melissa. Okay, so I need to figure out uh, which P.O. Box number is hers. How would I do that? You know, honestly, I could just try the key on all of them. There's really not that many. I'm guessing the game's not going to allow me to do that, though. Mm, I could connect it, though. With what? No. Oh, oh. Uh, what's that, 303? Number 303. Got it. Excellent. Three oh three. Here it is. No one's opened this in a while. There's actually dust in here. Just one unopened envelope addressed to Kelsey. Oh, hello, screwdriver. A I know screwdriver. what I can do with that. What's that doing here? Actually, yeah, what the hell is that doing in there? You, you can't mail a screwdriver. There aren't postage stamps on it, so why is that in there? It couldn't have been mailed, so what the hell? It's bizarre. A screwdriver. Hm. Well, let's find out what's in here. Someone sent this to Kelsey. It's a typed letter, no signature. Your Damn. threats are worthless, Kelsey. No one will believe a drop out over me, and if you keep this up, I can make your life hell. You'll never get into another college, and you may never even find a decent job. Put an end to this before it's too late. No one will ever believe a drop out after me. I'm thinking maybe, given how angry she was at everyone, maybe she tried to blackmail the Dean? But she's trying to blackmail him using maybe made-up things? It might be real, maybe they did have an affair. But 
maybe she was blackmailing him with fake evidence, you know? She would just say that they slept together or something like that. Who knows? So he might not have actually done anything wrong. Let's see. Yep, he's the one that did it. I thought so. The Dean wrote this? So that's what he's hiding. Well, I guess I should go confront him, but actually before I do that... So let me combine all the charms. Ooh, I have enough. I can't stand it anymore. Everything's just total shit. I can't go to school. My job sucks. Everyone is against me. Kelsey, don't say that. I'm here. I still love you. I'd do anything for you. You know that, right? That doesn't get my scholarship back from Little Miss Perfect. Or fix my grades, Joey. Or get my job back from that piece of shit Dean. Kelsey, please, don't. I've made up my mind, Joey. And he is not getting away with what he's done. There's another memory here. Wait, another... Another memory? What do I need to link it? Oh, just the charms again? Wait, what is that? So do I need another... Oh wait, I can only have three, right? Okay, so violin, the faces... Wait, I don't... I don't have the violin. Or no, no, I can have more than three. Yeah, I just need an additional one. Okay, yeah, I can't do that yet. Unless these do something, I don't think so. Nope. Alright, let's go open that thing up. And by the way, anyone notice? The box? The monkeys? I mean, if... If she's not the killer, then... Eh, it's someone really closely related to her. Like Joey, for example. I mean, I don't- I really don't think there's anyone else that could possibly know her well enough. Other than Joey, I think it has to be either her or Joey. Or both, maybe. I mean, her name's over everything, the- it just- Yeah, she's too deeply- she's too deeply connected to everything to not be the one either behind it or really, really closely related to it. Uh, where am I going? Um... Oh yeah. 